Enigma TV Step 4 Set up the Internet Control First, we will do the easy part and so create the web control setup file. In this provider list, we check the ones we want to bring on the web interface. Then, we type a password, I will use test in our example, and click the create web setup file button and wait until the process is done. Next is the streaming section. This area is the most important part for a successful setup. We will define the routing settings. Those routing settings need to be set into the router also. I will show you a live example. So first we have our PC IP address. If you don't know it or if it has changed, you can click on that get local IP button that will get it for you. We also need your public IP address, your uh, internet uh, IP address. And for that you have that button, this button that will also get it for you. Then we need to define on which port we want to stream locally and how to catch it from outside, it means from, from the internet. This rule also needs to be defined for the web ports. Now we do a real example. Let's say that from the internet we when we call on port 85 the web the web interface we want to be redirected in our home network on our on a port on the port 95 now we need to define this rule into our router i prepared an example to show you how to define it it's not complex, complicated to understand, but it needs to be to be uh, uh, to be learned a time if you never did it. So, go to your router, router settings and uh, do the setup like this. So, on the external port, we said that when we call port 85, so here I reported port 85 on external port, on protocol TCP. We want to be redirected in our uh, destination IP that is our uh, local PC IP, uh, so this one, on the local or internal port which will be 95. We have to repeat this step for the stream ports also. So let's say we want that from the outside, from the internet, when we call for example port 8085, we want that uh, to be redirected on our uh, PC IP address on port 8095, for example. That would mean we will uh, set up our router on external port to be set on 8085, protocol TCP. Um, destination IP would be 40 also because we want to join our computer and uh, the uh, local port, so the in internal port, would be uh, 8095. Okay, so now we are ready for uh, to start the web control. So first I will just slide the window here uh, like this because I have to enter my real uh, router settings. Now it's done, and I will do a right click on the uh, on the TV area and click the Start Internet Control. There, the uh, HTTP web server has started, and the interface is ready. So that means the uh, the uh, the web interface is is ready to be opened and used. Uh, okay, so. Um, <coughs> If, uh, if all looks good, uh, the process should start without any message, so we didn't get, get any message, so it looks good. Otherwise, uh, Enigma TV would tell you uh, what is missing in the setup, uh, except uh, root routing or router settings are not, are not checked. Huh? Uh, we can now access the internal or external web interface from the menu also. So if you redo a right click, 
you can see that you have you can stop the internet control but you have two options here that just appeared so you can open the web browser um, uh, using the uh, the uh, the local uh, IP to get the the web interface or you can use uh, your public uh, uh, IP to get the the web interface that would be the test to see uh, to check if your router has the correct the correct uh, settings so I will click there and as you can see well we don't see all the part but it should be okay you we we are now on the uh, on, on the web interface and I will I will uh, type the password we defined previously in Enigma TV then click on connect and after connection you have um, the menu that comes like this uh, so you have the TV tab, you have the media player tab, you have the timers, you have the settings and you can log off. Uh, the TV off button means that you can uh, just uh, cut the TV, so stop the TV without disconnecting from the, uh, from the web interface. And the reconnect button is there if in case you, you lose the, uh, you lose the uh, video connection. So now let's uh, first go into the settings. So this you can you can do only once or uh, modify anytime you have any uh, any uh, other network uh, speed, for example. So here we will define the video bitrate. So here I'm at home, so I can can go higher. But I mean, on a little screen that, uh, for example, on a, on a, on a, on a, on a mobile phone. Uh, 500 kilobits second will be really enough. Um, video scale, I just let it like like this, 0 0.5. Audio bitrate, I can let it also at uh, 128. And audio channels, I will uh, say uh, 2. Um, the iOS mode uh, is to switch uh, the interface, the complete interface, into uh, iOS um, uh, media uh, file format. Uh, on the PC, uh, we can play Flash, so we, we will simply let like that. It's it's more uh, it's more user user uh, user friendly to uh, to use Flash on a PC. So now I return to TV, and I click uh, the provider that uh, that we uh, selected. So it, it's available here. Uh, you have seen that the list ha has been refreshed, and from there I can select any channel I want. So. I will click the start uh, the, the the first channel or the, any any channel I want, and from there the Enigma TV should uh, start um, streaming. And as you see here, uh, the the first time that you do it, you need to to authorize your your uh, router to uh, your uh, a firewall to uh, uh, to to let to let the streaming. Um, uh, Go go out. Huh? So here it's ready. You have the picture coming, and uh, you can click the play button. And as you can see, it is uh, simply uh, playing. Huh? So here you also have some options like full screen. You can modify the sound volume, and that's all. Here we are. So you also have the EPG into that box. And you can uh, you can use any functions like it is on the uh, on the Enigma uh, TV application, like the media player, where you can uh, scroll through the list of available medias, and you just have to to click one and and click on play to play it. You can use uh, you can also set some timers by defining the different fields and recording them. Huh? So uh, yeah, so I think I. I said all what needs to be said <laughs> and um, I hope you will be able to set up the tool and make it working uh, uh, as it should. Huh? So I, anyway, I'm available on the web and uh, you can ask your question on the, on the forum and uh, I would be pleased to, to answer. Huh? So um, thank you for watching and enjoy the tool.